So, hello. This is not a good start to today's video. We've driven to the mark to start fishing and I realized I'd left all my recording equipment back at the apartment. So I've left Mark and Pete fishing at Puerto La Has. I've just gone back, got my camera equipment and I'm rushing there to get fishing because they're into fish already. So let's get to Puerto La Has. got here what a nightmare the guys are fishing here so let's see what they have had hello you too <laughs> afternoon yeah. what have you had pete uh, one three. what decent size no just a small one had a really good take struck into it both hooks off oh mate both hooks so there's bites there's fish yeah, the mark had a uh, You've had a, you've had a. Well, I've had a bag on that rod. And you've looked, missed it, yeah? Um, I think, I don't know what's happened. There's a, a lead that come off, you know, the bottom clip of that. Yeah. So I think whatever's hit it, where it's sprung it out. It's pulled down and then the line's gone slack. Yeah. And then because. Don't know what it's well. I don't know why I'm standing here chatting. Let's go and get my stuff and get pushing. Right, this needs to be a very quick setup, and we get this out as quickly as I can. I've got masses of weed in front of me just in the first 10 yards. It is a mat of weed. You can see it there on the foreshore, but um, where Pete is, it's clear. So if I do get a fish, I will take it his way a bit, a little bit. Now this mark, we only discovered this mark last time we were here. Um, it's always been driven past and ignored, but it does produce fish. So well worth putting out with a bit of weed, a bit of rough, snaggy ground. So we're gonna get lead lifts on this. Mark and Pete have got their lead lifts on. Bream rigs, one rod. Let's catch fish. There's your lead lift. It's a vein that pulls the lead up in the water, kites out to the top. The thin end of the vein, there the triangle, the point, clips to the lead. These are only cheap ones. Top of it. Top of the lead lift there goes to the bottom of my rig like so and that clips on to my line let's get some bait on so those two are fishing straight prawns what i've done i've got my little bait rock here i've got two clams then white clams that um are from lidl one one euro sixty a pack i'm going to put bit of prawn on the hook and I'm going to tip it off with clam and I'm going to bind that all on get that out see if that gets me a fish all right so there we go prawn and clam cocktail I'm all baited up, ready to go. I don't know if you can see behind me, it's sort of there, there's a light green patch through about 80 yards. Got a nice crosswind, I'm gonna try and get it out into that lighter green patch, which is a sand patch. Pete's just about to put his out. Now, here's Pete. What have you got, straight prawn? Oh, oh, he's on squid, so Pete's on squid. Is that what you had your other fish on, squid? No. Prawn. Right, it's Pete's fine squid. Go for it, mate. Right, so Pete's 
shorter the, the light green patch is about 50 60 yards out there can't do off the ground car see it's too snaggy just got overhead thump it get it as far as we can so let's do it Basically, the crosswind then wrapped my line around the tip and as the line was going out, so it lo lost a lot of distance. So I'm going to go take two. Well, I just had to chuck my uh, camera down on the floor. Had a big bite and a slack line. Um, I think I hooked it, but then it came off. So, um, let's get rebaited and get back out again. Just getting some bait and Pete's rod's gone over. Looks like he's got a good fish here. Nice bend in that, mate. You haven't got that windsurfer, have you? <laughs> it's keeping down, mate. So, we've got a good fish here. Oh yes! Oh, nice bream! He's nearly a kilo I reckon. Don't know if you can see it out there, he's in the weed now. He's got a nice bream here. Let's get in this weed and help him out. Yes! Two banded bream. Oh a nice bream! A monster mate! Oh, a monster white bream! Oh, 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 oh. oh, that is a lovely fish, mate. Pete, oh. stunner. He's a kilo. Oh, really? He's a kilo, didn't you? Stunning fish, Pete. Do you want to get uh, four steps? Yeah, get your four steps. Get on it. I'll go and put this bait down. Right, look at that. That is a lovely white bream, mate. Stunning white bream. Um, well done. Let me get some photos and we're... Yeah. Want to put him back? Yeah. On invite. Pete's just about to release this fish. We don't care about getting wet when they're like this, do we, mate? No, mate. All the weed. There he goes. Gone through that weed. Lovely. Well done, mate. Again, let's be on this rod. Got some nibblers around it. Backing away. Definitely not a kilo white bream though. Let's hope the uh, nibblers attract something bigger in to see what. Oh, there we go. Come on. Come on. Yeah, something nibbling, having a go.
You what? Oh, have you got something absolutely tiny? You've gone from the monstrous to the minuscule. There's a fish though, Pete. You got yourself a painted coma. There we are. Coma. <laughs> very nice, mate. You can. Uh... Yeah, very pretty, Mark. Look at that. A bit rass like. Yeah, that's what that's like. So that's Pete's fish. There we are, Pete. You're gonna have to get your discords on that, mate. That's quite heavy. We got a fish on here. Oh, we got weed. Fish or weed? We got a fish, maybe. We might have a little fish on here. No. Yeah, I think we have. It's on the surface. I can see it. See it on the surface, jumping around. What have we got? Let's go and have a look. Let's have a look. Little bream. Ah, so we've got on the sand patch, obviously. I can tell I'm hitting the sand patch. Because I've got, hey, hey, don't, hey, I've saved him. I've got a stripe bream there. So that's a stripe bream. And they like sandy bottoms. And you can see they got a flat belly. They feed off the bottom. So I know I'm hitting the sand. So I might even drop a bit shorter. See if I can get near the rougher ground. Let's get him back. Here he goes. Lovely. Only getting little nibbles at distance so what i'm going to do change attack we've got 15 yards 20 yards of weed in front of us really thick then it starts to disperse i want to drop it just beyond that see if the fish are feeding the other side of the weed so i'm going to bring this in just cast it out again right so i'm sort of wading in this weed a little bit i want to get 20 yards in front of me just lost the lead because the clips on the lead lifts are a bit cheap and cheerful so we might upgrade them but i'm going to try this let's see what i can do here i just want to go there come in a bit there i'm happy with that that's just over the weed let's see if that makes a difference keep this up high get it out of the weed let's see if the fish are there I am collecting a bit of weed. Worth a try. Oh, 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 that's that guy. Got on this. Yeah, there's something on this, I think. Come on. Well, it's definitely ain't on this bite. Only little, though. Let's see what it is. Yeah, I've got it. Whatever it is, I've got it. Where have I? No, it's come off. It's come on. Oh dear. Oh, oh I don't know. Might, have I got it in the weed? No, I have lost it. 
the right. Well, it's been quiet for a while now, probably half an hour, but just looked at the tide times and we're probably about 20 minutes past high now, so it does tend to go quiet over the high here. So I do expect bites to pick up a little bit now. So we better keep an eye on the rods. The weed is still coming in in its masses. But there are some good fish out there. We just got to get into them. Oh, Mark's got a nice fish. It has been very quiet. But Mark's got a bend in this rod that looks half decent. Feel good? Where is it? It's close. It's coming in now. There it is. Oh, it's another good bream. Oh, another good white bream, mate. Not doesn't get the peats. Pete's standard, but that's a good white bream, mate. That is a good white bream. These are 500 grams. Got it. Hold that up, mate. Let's try and get underneath it if you can. Hold that up. Get your fingers away. Let's just get in the video. Look at the markings on that. Lovely sort of black marked head. Beautiful fish. Right, get a picture of that, mate, and then we're yeah. putting back, yeah? Sure, mate. Right, Mark's just about to release this fish. There he goes, swimming off into the surf. Lovely. Well done, mate. You're happy with that? Yeah, I would be. Very disappointed with Mark actually today because I'm representing, Pete's representing, but Mark seems to be following someone called Puma. Not that happy with that. Don't know. Anyway. Um, if you're interested in t-shirts, um, GSP Sea Fishing t-shirts, check out the description, tells you how to get hold of them. The one Pete's got there, that's design number one. And the one I've got. Design there. number two. Number three. Number, number three. three, that is. Sorry. Number three. There we go. Anyway. I'm hoping, fingers crossed now, that this turns on for 40 minutes, an hour or so, get a couple more decent fish. There's one other thing I forgot. Subscribe to the channel, please, if you haven't already. Go and click the subscribe button, press the bell for your notifications. It will help support this channel. There's fishing videos from Fort Ventura, anywhere else I go on holiday and the UK. There's also videos on rig making, uh, tackle building, and anything else to do with sea fish. So check them all out. Let's get back to the fish. You actually got fish or you snagged? Let it go loose for a bit. There was a bite there though, wasn't there? Yeah, I see it. Let it go proper loose, not slack, a bit of slack. Put it in your rod vest, leave it for a minute. If there's a fish on it, it pull it out. Oh, you got fish? Oh, yes. Nice fish, yeah? Feel better than the other one? Well, I don't force it though. Oh, he's got a nice fish here. He's got a nice fish here, literally, that must have taken a bait. Has it dropped down? I think I need to put a fresh bait on. Mine's been out for half hour now. Where are you, mate? Where is it? Just down here on your leg. Down here, here it comes, here it comes. What has he got here? There's a decent fish on here. 
Another bream. Oh, he's got two. There's a good stamp of bream in here. And what are these on? What bait are these on? Prongs. So, Mark has just landed another decent keeper of a white bream. But he's got a bit of a sharp snouted. I wonder if that's a sharp snout, mate. That is, I think. That's a sharp snout. That's different. So that's a different species. Yeah. That's a sharp snout breeze, green. And then you've got a coma as well, mate. Look at that. I mean, there's my Coke bottle. I would say that's that one is probably 500 grams, that is. I would say his last one was probably 600. And Pete's was about a kilo. Well done, Mark. Mark's in the little golden spot at the moment. That's lying again, same sort of spot. Nice. It's shallow out there so I can get tight on it pretty sharpish. Literally turn the camera off and it's smashed. Come on, back you come. Yeah, there's something here. Let's see if I can feel it. That's wedged. That is wedged. Come on. Come on, baby. Ah, lost it all. Right, I'm just trying on a new leader. Lost it all. It is a snag here. It's going to happen every now and again. It's the first bit lost today. But this is the leader material I'm using. Skyline. Synthetic Skyline. 32.5 kilos. It's 0.50 in diameter. I'm going to put that on now with a Slim Beauty knot. So, there is the Slim Beauty knot. Lovely, neat, compact knot when it's tied correctly. Just got to tight, cut off these tag ends and I'll be ready to get a new rig on, get back out. All right, well, there goes Mark. This is our last cast. We have just called it. His casts are getting better. That's a good cast. Pete's just going to bait up his last cast. I'm doing mine. Let's see if we get anything. Fingers crossed. Now, I just want to show you, while I'm watching my last cast, this weed here behind me, this row of weed, has come in on this tide as I fall over. It is, let's have a look. It's about 10 inches deep. Look there. It's about 10 inches deep. Thick, thick weed. It's only ever been in the first 20, 20 yards of water. It hasn't moved. It's still out there. But where Mark's fishing, it's not in front of him. It's only here. Has he got a fish? He's just got a fish! Do we might have a fish? I don't know. Has he? No, he's shaking his head no. So he's gonna have another cast, isn't he? The famous last cast syndrome. 
Yes, so this weed is, <laughs> it's amazing we haven't been stuck in this more than we have. It is solid, absolutely solid. I wonder if that's what brings the fishing on the feed. Well, the sea has beaten us. There it is. It has dropped down now to a point where it's very shallow. The rocks are starting to show. There, Mark's bringing his in. Pete's just brought his in. And I'm gonna go and get mine. So, that is the end of this session at Puerto La Haas. It's been a little bit frustrating for me. I've had one fish. Pete? You've done all right, didn't you, mate? Yeah, I've done all right. You've done all right. You uh, had a nice, nice bream, about a kilo. Yeah. Yeah. Cut, just over a couple of pound bream, white bream. Missed a few, yeah. Missed you had a coma, bit. didn't you, as well? Yeah. And you had a zebra bream. That's it. The zebra bream was before I was here, but luckily Mark got a picture of it. And then Mark, who started off missing some bites, you done all right, didn't you, mate? Yeah, I've done all right, didn't you, mate? Yeah, I've done all right, It's good here, isn't it? Yeah. Nice little mark. Some, uh, what's that little green thing? Well, the uh, painted comb, the brownie yeah. mottly things. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So you've had all new species so far. Not caught before. Yeah, so... Can't be bad, can it? Can't yeah. be bad at all. Right, so that's us done for here. But, for the house, we will be back. And we might be back sooner rather than later. My stuff's packed down, there's a bin just there, so what I'm gonna do is grab a couple of handful of rubbish that's on the beach, put it in the bin, have a little clear up. Anyway, till next time, tight lines. <laughs>